Oh my God. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all that my car got towed, I knew I had to get another sticker. I was waiting till I feel like to get this sticker. Every year, I know you gotta renew it for your resident. But crazy old me wanted to wait till I feel like doing it. Like, girl, you know it was time for you to get that. So why did you wait till you wanted to go and get up and do it? Now, I gotta go get this car. I gotta go get it because that's the only way things are gonna get done. And they charge by the hour. And there's some nasty behind people. They real nasty. When I say they nasty, when you're calling up there getting information, they was like, well, you know you wasn't supposed to do this and wasn't supposed to do that. You think I wanted to hear that? I did not want to hear it because I want to move and I want to move. But. <laughs> But I know better. It's not like I don't know better. I know better. If you know better, you will do better. But it's all good. It's all good. But y'all won't believe how much I gotta pay to get this car out. This little raggedy place. The place don't even look good. And then she wanna go put an all in my glove. I'm sorry if y'all hear that loud noise in the background. That's the AC vents. Somebody broke the thing when you open the vent so the air is like you know struggling to come out but back to what i was saying these are some rude freaking people when i tell you when i tell you when i tell you they try to talk to you like you're stupid i know better but guess what i want to move on my own time i didn't thought it was that serious but when god give you five common sense you should know when something needs to be done and don't be waiting around but i end up still waiting around taking my own little precious time want to do things when i feel like doing it. but guess what that's consequences that's consequences for me. But I ain't complaining, I ain't crying, I ain't whining about it, but I'm just saying, I did not know how serious this was gonna be. But when I called the freaking office, she was like, well, what did you do? And this and that, she asked for my name and my apartment number. She was like, well, that's why, because you didn't renew your um, resident sticker. You know, you gotta do it every year. I'm like, I thought I didn't have to do it once you get it one time. She was like, no, it's an every year thing. I'm like, wow, that's crazy, but nobody never told me. But they did send out emails to all the residents to tell them to renew it if you have a car. And my behind wanted to play games and move when I feel like it and take my own little sweet baby time and then look what happened. Car gone. Car gone. Car gone. But it's all good though. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back sooner than later i mean it ain't gonna be that long it's gonna be some the lady said it's a hour or two process or whatever and they charge by the hour the long as your car be in the toll place that's when they start counting it by the hour like who does that i know you gotta do your job that's your job that's what you get paid for riding and walking around harassing people cars that's what you're doing you're harassing people cars and i asked her that she was like well if you park in the wrong spot or you did not get your yearly rental sticker then you know the decal for your parking that that's on you that ain't got nothing to do with nobody else when i the lady they were so all over the place so unprofessional my honey told me my honey bookie bond said babe the car ain't outside and come outside my car gone my car gone like really then get some bad news i feel like that is bad news getting some bad news that hey your car gone <laughs> my what <laughs> your car gone like what you thought i was lying or something i said it's not that you was lying i want to see it for myself now y'all see where i'm going with this i gotta always see things for myself if somebody tell me the stove is hot why i gotta go test the stove out to see if the stove hot that's just common sense you know it's hot so why you go touch it and then you get burned because you're behind on the charge yourself. That's what's wrong with me. I like to see for myself. I like to waste time and wait when I feel like doing stuff. And that's what happened. That's why I'm in a predicted man I'm in now. <laughs> but guess what? God still got my back.
But guess what? I started dancing. <laughs> when, I, when the lady told me, she said, guess what? You only gotta pay $147. Even though the car is the car in there at five o'clock in the freaking morning. Their car was picked up at five o'clock in the morning and it made it here after a little after six. And I was like, I'm over here sleeping good, dreaming about what I'm gonna do the next day. All these plans I got in my head, thinking about when I get up. And then that's when my honey told me, babe, the car is not outside and I, I really thought he was joking when he said that he was like it's not here i'm like stop playing me stop playing walk out the door my little poor feelings got hurt because i was like dang my car ain't out there for real i called them nonchalant they had so much attitudes out this freaking world talking about okay what's your name and apartment number when i gave it to them oh this is the reason why because you know the um you know the rules every year you must renew your parking sticker and this and that i'm like i knew that and i knew they sent the emails out but guess what i wanted to move on my own time i told her every time i called the freaking office or go to the office they close they looking out the window like this looking out and they see you coming up and then they do not open the door for you like i was just fed up with that i'm just big tired and just tired of going up there tired of going up there and trying to get some clarification for stuff but they don't care nothing about that so she was like oh this and that and i said well i understand that he get paid for doing this but why he want to sleep at five o'clock in the morning he over here messing with me messing with other people's business then they said they charge by that freaking hour she told me you lucky from five o'clock to now it was like literally 10 30 in the morning so she was like, really? You lucky because you supposed to been paying more than 147. I said, lucky? I said, I am blessed. Lucky, lucky who? I said, that is a blessing for me. I don't believe in luck like that. So she was like, well, whatever you say or whatever, but get here before 530 because after 530 we stop taking people or whatever. We close at 6 o'clock. So I'm like, okay, I'll be there. Still, remind you, I had the Find a ride, wait on my ride to get here. So by the time my ride got here, it was a little after five. So I'm calling, let her know, listen, I'm on my way, da 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 da. So when I get there, she asked for my registration. She said, I need your registration and your new insurance card and your new registration. I said, I thought it was in the glove box. So she was like, oh, we went in there and look. I said, excuse me, who told y'all to go in my glove box? She was like, we had to go in there to uh, verify the car, check the VIN number, stuff wasn't matching with the VIN number, so we needed other proof. So I was like, other proof? I said, y'all told me to bring my license, and y'all told me to bring um, uh, another insurance card or uh, um, registration. So I got that, I did not have, I thought I had the new one, but I ended up having an old one and still had to come way back home. And she was like, we'll wait only to like six because you already here and you're trying to process your stuff. Cause she was like, you know, we charge about an hour, da, 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 da. I'm like, okay, I got in the car and then came back home and found it on top of my dress. And once I got it on the dress, I speed bone rush all the way back to the place. Then she was like, you have the up-to-date stuff, not no old stuff. I said, yeah, this is the new stuff. This say 2024. It's not no old stuff. And she was like, well, da 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 She done closed the window in my face. I'm sitting there like, I know this lady see me standing here. I'm sitting here talking. Like I said, mad rude, just rude. I'm sitting here talking. And she's sitting there walking away from the window. I'm like, dang, these people are nasty with the towing people, towing people nasty. I said, dang, why the towing people? All these people got to have so much of a nasty attitude. I understand you got to have some tough skin. You can't have no soft skin when you're doing it. Because people be want to beat your behind about their car. Y'all charging people to get their own car. Like, Y'all acting like this. Y'all car. It's not your car. It's my car. It's our car. Why we got to pay all this money just to get our car back? I understand it's consequences. It's consequences. But at the end of the day, I'm like, dang. All this money you got to be paying back. Even though 147 ain't nothing. That just little, little chunk change. But still, it's still money that you could be doing something else. But I still end up paying it. Got back. It was way after hours. You know, after hours, everything is closed. So I was back to the press. I was like, dang. I was supposed to get this stuff done today. And still end up can't get it done today. Because, boom, the devil is busy. But 
When I got that call, I was dancing. I said, thank you, Jesus. Yes. I'm still grateful. Blessed. I'm blessed. Lucky well. I ain't lucky. People don't believe in blessings. Call it luck you want to. My shirt wet, y'all, because my baby made a big mess on me. But anywho, I was like, stuff teaches you a lesson in life. Don't move when you want to move. Get up and do things. Get your junk out the way. Get it out the way. Then you come back and chill. When it come out of business like that, take it lightly you want to. I know y'all let me know if y'all ever, ever like got some kind of violation ticket like parking in a wrong spot or parking when something expired and you had a ticket or something or repo or when the the car financial bank people come pick your car up because they feel like you ain't making your payments or whatever did y'all have to pay a lot of money to get it back when y'all got it back or whatever because from this day on everybody know that i had surrendered my car in because i was sold a limit a limit and from this day on they're still telling me that i owe thirteen thousand dollars thirteen almost fourteen thousand dollars for a car i'm not driving i said listen here talking about they could take me to court i said oh i ain't know i get that serious my eyes got so big like this i said i did not know it was that serious y'all talking about taking people to court for something talking about when you signed that contract you said that you were gonna make me payment i said i ain't never said i was gonna make a payment to a car i wasn't driving i did not tell y'all that lie like that don't go to line to my i said that I don't care what the contract say. I'm not driving a freaking car. It's a limit, and y'all need to handle that and get that together. I said, well, I'm not going to pay it, but at the end of the day, my credit already jacked up because of this car. My, my credit was good, real good, before I purchased this car, and then now my credit going downhill, and they talking about, oh, we're going to put it on your credit. Put it on my credit. Put it on my credit. Y'all ain't threatening me. Threatening who? Talking about putting it on the credit. Oh well, put it on my credit. It ain't already done. Y'all already jacking me up. So it is what it is. But y'all, let me know in the comment section if y'all ever experienced going to court from like a surrender your car or your car getting taken away from you because you couldn't afford the payments or you just stopped paying the payments like what I did. I surrendered and just stopped all together. I wasn't stupid no more. At first, I was making those payments and, and was not driving that car. But anyways, if y'all experienced any kind of tolling, how did it go? How much money did y'all have to pay? Do they charge by the hour? Because that's my first time that they telling me that you you get charged by the hour. And I was lucky. Lucky. I was not lucky. I was blessed. And thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. But I will see y'all in my next video. And I thank you all for watching. And just comment, share, and like. Subscribe. Bye.